What's up, guys? So, tonight, I was thinking about what to play, and I was like, got this new TV going. Kind of feel like just uh, chillaxing with some, some Enix games. Um, I'll just put my game. What an interesting name. All right, go and save, go and save the world for all creatures. Now, it's just any time I get a new TV, I kind of want to see, like, this one is awesome because you can see all the pixels. So it's just really cool playing a game that I've played so many times I can kind of do... I can get a bit more understanding um, of what the CRT is capable of with a game like this. I used to live up in the sky, just like you. Now I'm living on Earth, away from my master. Away from the master. All the creatures that have been captured by Death Toll are sealed away in monster layers. Just, to you, just as you have set me free, you must free everyone. Even the release of a small tree or creature, they will aid you in your quest. Here, take this. I received a flame ball magic. Now I will join you. I'm a magician, so I can use all types of magic. I will use my skill to help you. Remember this, I need gems in order to use magic. When you set me free, the monsters left some small spears of gold. This is what a gem looks like. Alright, let's work together to revive the world. We must go to the Grass Valley Shrine. Let me make sure, uh... My buddy, uh, hit me up on Discord. Hey, what's up, Brandon? I'm just, uh, texting Bernie back, letting him know. Never heard from... this game. Japanese import? No, this is actually, uh... I owned this game back in the late 90s, early 2000s. I played the shit out of this one in Illusion of Gaia. Let's work together by the world. We must go to the Grass Valley Shrine. No, this game is fantastic, and I will, I will say if you like uh, action RPGs, this is definitely a uh, a good one. I don't know how much it went up to though. I heard a small voice. There are many creatures being held in the underground castle. If you can release those creatures, the villagers will. The village will be reconstructed. It's kind of like the precursor to Dark Cloud. So... Well, you'll see. These little... So the monsters come out. Kill the monsters. There's different ones. And, um... You release, like, a... Like a little switch that either unlocks something in the dungeon, or it'll, like... It'll, like, save people in the village, but it'll always show you, which is interesting. So when you hold down R or L, he holds a sword out like that, so you can deal damage, or you can swing with B. When you hold down R and L, so if you go up and down, it does like a crab walk, which is kind of cool. Now the Quintet series of games is like, probably, one of my favorite game series of all times. Really obtainable. 130. Jesus. It was like 60 the last time I checked. Rick released an old woman. Uh, this one plays on all the EverDrive parts, though, so... <laughs> It'll play on the, the cheapest EverDrive 5 cart. I'm pretty sure. 
hear a sigh coming from inside the house. Oh boy, I wonder what illusion a guy is gonna go up to. Hell yeah, Soul Blazer. What's up, Fernie? Well, I got this new TV. I gotta, I gotta test all at all the colors and graphics to see how everything looks. So I figured pick a game that I played. But also, I played through uh, Actraiser not too long ago, and I was, I'm, I was getting the itch for the rest of the other quintet, the other quintet games. I'll probably play through Illusion of Gaia here soon, too. I have to get the Everdrive. Yeah, this one... This one... So, this one can't play, like, Star Fox and, like... Uh, Star Ocean, which sucks. Uh, It's actually not ideal, but a lot of these games... There's a large library of games that one can play. I honestly wish they just made the, all the cards to be able to play all the games. I haven't tested Terranigma on that card either. Terranigma probably doesn't play on that card. It might. But... I had to get a reproduction for that one. But you could always you could always borrow my copy of this game or the other ones if you want to play them too. Alright, come over here. Oh I will. Try to kill that damn bastard. We get some tea too. Don't forget to equip the things you wish to use, or they will not work. Stay. Oh yeah, I didn't equip the magic. So why is magic? But it's kind of weird, because it spins around you, so you kind of have to time it. So I'm facing left, so... Even though it's spinning this whole time, it'll shoot left and any any of the watch. And then if I shoot right, it'll shoot right. It's it's that one's a little weirder to get used to. Some of the later magic um, is a lot easier. But that's also why I like the crab walk, because it's kinda of like a lock on, so you're locking on straight ahead of you. And see, this one only tells you, so when you pause it, it'll tell you nine monster layers. In Illusion of Gaia, it'll actually show you where the... How many monster things are remaining, or layers are remaining. It'll show you where they're at. Tool shop owner. Yeah, I'm pretty lame. I don't use magic. I usually save magic for certain parts of the game. There's some parts of the game that are like, you need magic more. So I never noticed those little blue eyes on these little onion guys before. That's interesting. Also, sorry guys, I got the hiccups. I think at least two of them. There once was a water mill here, before the village was destroyed. Here there's a man in the mill, who runs the elevator in the underground castle. Goddamn hiccups. No, I watched, I watched the draft, or I watched 
half of the draft, and then... I don't know, I was kind of just chilling. Guards. Oh, is he just gonna go to the same spot? It's been a while since I've played this game, it's actually funny that I remember where certain things are. I'll probably get lost in the laboratory. And I'll probably get lost in the mountain. And then there's also the... There's like hit... There's a lot of like secret hidden stuff in this game. There's a, um, at least the ivy. There's these phoenix parts to get the better magic. I th I'm trying to remember. There's, there's another thing, the emblems, yeah. I think, I think last time I looked up where some of them were. So I'm probably not going to remember where all the emblems are. Oh, it looks so cool on this TV, this scrolling. voice came from inside the watermill. Darn it. Stupid wheel, it's so hard to turn. You know, I would like to play a, uh... Like a more official translation of these games to see how much of the text was changed. Kind of curious. I'm an elevator to... Elevator invented by Dr. Leo. I cannot move unless the watermill is turning. Okay, I know what I have to do, I think. Oh man, I can't believe I missed a... Monster lair, though. Unless it's over here. Jeez, I wonder where it is. I wonder where it is. listen to this song for hours. I'm the guard of the bridge. I guess it's not really necessary to guard such a small bridge. Please pass. I always make my guy dance around in this game, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a force I have it. Rotating this wheel will move the elevator in the underground castle. I'm too weak to turn this wheel. Will you do it for me? This is the wheel. Will you try to turn it? Quick turn the wheel. As the wheel started to turn, power was transmitted to the underground castle. Oh, no wonder. I was turning it the wrong way. By the way, don't you think this watermill is great? I guess. It's a watermill. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's something you never see anymore in modern towns. No water mills. No, I better go find that other monster later. There are many creatures being held in the underground castle. Oh, I already talked to this one. Hold on, do I have a medical herb yet? I guess I have to get a medical order first before that. So there's some there's some monsters and enemies that don't have layers. They're just like additional monsters. These little slimes. guys. It's been getting hot lately though, I had to turn the cooler on. Summertime is upon us. Oh, there we go. I thought I missed something. No, oh, this game has some really neat stuff. Really stolen, man. Like, uh, there's like metal enemies in some of these earlier stages where you'll be like, I can't kill this guy. And then later on, you'll get like a special sword that can kill metal enemies so you can like go back to previous levels. So stuff like that. It's like cool little secrets and fun stuff. to go. <clears throat> Alright. I should probably kill those guys first. I should have killed them first. Please so. You hear some light snoring coming from inside the house. Hopefully I'm not too far away sitting like this. I, I don't think I am, but I'm just trying to get my bearings still. Maybe I'll move the mic on the other side and then... I don't know. I need to get a more versatile uh, microphone uh, arm thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should go fight those guys first. It was so funny when I first played this game because uh, our friend Tim had this game and he would always tell us about it. And uh, me and me and my other friend uh, Dylan we used to play Illusion of Gaia all the time. And it was just so funny. Like, because one day when we played it, we were just like, I can't remember if we found out or... I think we looked it up online. But it was just, like, mind-blowing that they were, like, the same people. Like, the connections and the games and stuff. Oh, dude, I wanted to tell you. Yes? Tool shop owner's son. Sweet. It's not like a really cool pickup or anything, but... Oh, no, dude. All pickups are fun. We will... We, we shall not judge the quality of pickups. They're just interesting to talk about. You gotta put copy of Breath of Fire 5. Oh, nice. I think you were talking about that. The one on the PS5? Or... PS5. PS2. It's because I read Breath of Fire 5. My mind broke for a second. See, I thought I had 5 at one time. And now I don't remember. If I did, like, what happened to it. Because I definitely don't have it now. Like, I didn't go and get the whole... Hackwall Trilogy or some mega overdrive from going to those NES games. <laughs> Since TV <TV-era. laughs> Hey, you know. That's still cool. Also, damn it. Do not rush, but be patient. You must continue making steady progress. Well, first things first. I'll get the home this week. My boyfriend also picked up a copy of Samurai Legend Musashi, which I've never seen in person. Oh, cool! I'm trying to think of a- I've only seen the demo disc of that game. And I've always wanted to buy it, and I finally burned a copy on the PS1, so... Let, let me know what you think of that one, because I've always wanted to play it. I'm helping my mother, would you like to buy some goat's food? Do you want to know how much it costs? Well, about one billion dollars plus tax. Teddy. I'm sorry, I'll give it to you for free. I got a bag of goat's food. That is not an herb. Oh, I didn't have an herb equipped, I'm just stupid. I don't even remember which goat wants the food. I wonder why people live in such small houses. Can you believe the village chief was swallowed up in one of the paintings in the house on the hill? And I love that you can talk to like animals and inanimate objects in this game. It's just like the coolest, coolest thing. Frank placed the dream rod on the girl's head. I also attempted to bake him for the cup, for that copy of the third birthday, but it didn't work. Once I get more staples, I'll definitely get more cool stuff to share. Oh, it's all good. I definitely hope you get a, a good job, which is awesome. Voice full of sadness came from somewhere. Lisa, you must tell everything that you know to the person in front of you. They will also need my paintbrush to continue on. Daddy, is that you? Where are you, Daddy? I miss you so much. There was no answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Parasite even on the PSP. It goes for 80 to 120. Oh, damn. It goes for a lot nowadays. I should have got that one years ago. When I was 
I was actually collecting PSP stuff, I just never ran into it. I do have the Silent Hill on the PS3. Hell yeah, what's up, Hysteric Moon? I love Soul Blazer. I still think it's a great pickup, I actually never got a chance to play Breath of Fire or Fire. Yeah, I think so too, it's a, it's a game series you like, and it's a game you didn't own. It's a good pickup. Who are you? Why am I here? You can't download it on the storefront, so a bullshit way to play it is on UMD now. Hmm. Too bad I have a hacked PSP with it already downloaded. Oh my, who are you? Get out of my house. Wait, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Please come back and listen to my story. I had a very strange dream. It was about my father and someone who looked just like you. My father told me to give this paintbrush to you and tell you all I know. The brush is all I have left from my father. I hid it somewhere. When you come back to me with that brush, I will tell you all I know. Too bad. I have... I have PS... I mean, what? Oh. Uh. I was just being silly. I have a hacked PSP. Now I forgot about that game. Another only UMD on that game. I have it downloaded, uh, so that way you can play it on the, the hacked copy. I know, it's not as cool. But I, I was I was pretty into PSP games, like... I think I got one in like 2008, 2009. But I'm going to be honest, the main reason I got it was to hack it and play Super Nintendo games on the go. Because my dream was to play Super Nintendo anywhere. Oh, I love this part. It's really stupid, but I love it. I just imagine he's like messing his sword up in the gears. It's very polarizing whether it's good or not. But I'm one of those people who just likes to have the chance to play part of the game so Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. You just want the ability to be able to try it out. I got Leo's brush. I need to equip the medical herb so I don't die again. Because when you die, you lose your gems. So you can't stockpile them for when you need them. I have my Vita hacked and recently played FF7 Crisis Core. Oh, nice. Also, I released an old man. The portal to heaven is in his backyard. Which is also another crazy thought. Crisis Core is like one of the. No, I get. I, I, you know what? I own like a fair amount of PSP games. Uh, but Crisis Core is one I definitely wanted to have just to have a copy of it. I played through it twice. It's. It's pretty good. I need to get the component hookup for the PSP so I can play PSP games on stream. Because I only have the, uh, the composite hookup. It looks terrible. I could show you guys sometime. It's like really bad. I don't own a PSP besides the Go. Oh, the Go is like the worst one. It's all about PSP 3000. Although I had a uh, mini of PSP 1000. I've had so many PSPs, dude. I 
And the memory card I have in mind, I think I have like a 256 gig memory card with like every PS1 game, you know, NES, Super NES, Turbo Graphics, Genesis, Sega CD. I just have like basically like a library of shit. If you want, I can lend you my PS TV. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot that those did that too. Uh, no, that'd be cool. But, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find one of those cords eventually. Just for future... future endeavors. That's cool that you have a PS, uh, PS TV. There goes Tulip. Also, I will say there's a lot of that because I've gone through like libraries and libraries of stuff. There's certain stuff that just doesn't work right, even on a hacked PSP. Like uh, Dragon Warrior Seven, the one on the PS One. Never got that game to work. I own the game, but I can just not get a copy of that to work on PSP for some reason. Uh, I can't remember if it's Mega Man Legends 1 or 2, but one of them they took off the store because it had Coke machines in it. And the only way to actually play that game is through hacking, hacking your PSP. I think Retro City Rampage was on there. That game's pretty dope. Um, I do need to get a Vita one day too. I just kept, I just kept th thinking that I would find one uh, somewhere, you know, like really easy. I just never did. An old man. You hear a man screaming inside the house. Ah, a ghost, a ghost. Okay, cool. It's the heart of the underground castle. You may meet with monsters that cannot be defeated with that sword. You'll be able to save those creatures once you return with the correct sword. Yay! Teleport me back. Shit, which button is it to use the medical herb? Also, damn it! I guess I do have it equipped. I thought I'd find more models of the Vita as well, sadly not. I only have the one. YouTube or Metal Jesus Rock has an amazing collection of them. Yeah, that guy has a lot of free time and money to just go around and buy all that shit. <laughs> Bastards! Oh, you have some food from the tool shop. I promise to tell you a secret if you give me the food. Thank you. I will tell you a secret. If you wish to get inside the painting, you must equip an item. Cool says if you die with it equipped, it'll heal you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought you could just use it, though. I know, I know it resurrects you. Either way, you don't really need to, because I could just walk, when you walk to the portal to like, see the god or whatever, he, like, heals you. You wish to get inside the painting, you must equip an item, which used to belong to the painter, and touch the painting. Well, I have other things to attend to, so I'll see you later.
No, I always appreciate the support, though. Know. Oh, I think there's another goat. Oh, I found another medical herb. I knew it was something that was over there. Oh, you have found my father's paintbrush. I will now tell you what I know. One day as I returned from shopping, I found a note. Lisa pulled out the note and began to read. Lisa, I won't be able to see you for a while. If you have any problems, please see the village chief. Take care of your friends, Turbo the dog. Uh, I always wanted to name one of my dogs Turbo. One day, one day I'll have a dog named Turbo. Lou the dolphin, Nob the snail, and Marie the dog. The animals mentioned in the letter were once my father's pets. I don't understand what he's trying to say, though. I know you're a complete stranger, but will you please search for my father? I try my best. Yep. Plus, Model Jesus Roth lives in Seattle area, which are game of paradise. Yeah, that too. Any area that's full of old technology. California is like that too, where they have just like... Pallets upon pallets of NES games and shit. We have some stuff here, but just not... Not as much. Into the painting. This was painted by Dr. Leo as strange faces appeared. It's terrifying. Frank is dragged into the painting. I get to fight the jeweler Jim soon. So I've always assumed that the blazer sealed the jeweler gem. Somehow he survived, though? Okay, cool. No, that guy, that guy talks about some cool stuff. I like when he talks about, like, his days working at, uh... Sierra and all that stuff. It's been dry as hell here. Too much comp in the game. Competition to get games here. Waste the tool. I think so too that that he sealed him. But it's 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 interesting because like time period wise, I'm always trying to like connect everything. Maybe I'll try to write it out one day on like a piece of paper, just to, like mentally. Solid arm refers back to this game, and yet the other he doesn't. Another thing I always wondered, because I know it's the Soul Blazer trilogy, but I always wondered if uh, Act Razor was somehow connected to it too. Good that you know his name. I just refer to him as the jeweler Jim. Lonely. I hate being lonely. I wish nothing ever had to feel this the 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 emptiness of 
being lonely again. But that'll never be possible, unfortunately. Hey, what's up, Boat? How you doing? How are you doing? My good friend. I mean, I think they're all just theoretically thematically connected and tied in for fun. I think they're different universes if it's canon. I haven't played Terranigma yet, though, still avoid explorers. Um, yeah, without saying anything about Terranigma, I think you're right about them being thematically connected. It's kind of like the Zelda games, I guess. Where, like, you could really put any two Zelda games together if you thought about it hard enough. I would say this and Gaia have the strongest connection in the Secret Dungeon. That and Turbo and, uh, I guess there's always small stuff. Yeah, I think that's right. Interesting to think about, though. So yeah, this guy's like metal. So he just makes clang noises. But it's cool, though, because it's not like the next dungeon it gives it to you. It's like way later. I don't... I don't... I'm trying to remember which place gives it to you. Maybe it is the next place. No, 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 it's the lab. Get it in the lab. Why? Quick release to go. Why are all the words... Why are all the words he put make me laugh, bro? Here's our shares, so maybe assets. Yeah, see, I would put if it's if it's thematically and um, things like that, I would put Act Razor in the same category because some of the enemies in Act Razor and also like this game in Act Razor, you can compare because you're both an avatar for a god that's sent down to basically take out monster lairs and save people. Oh no. Okay. It's just those guys. Oh. Sorry about the noise, guys. These guys are really annoying to fight. Did I, did I not have the medical order but equipped? God damn it. That's my fault. I don't know if there's such a thing as reincarnation. Even though I can't communicate with my husband, I enjoy his company. Since losing my wife to an illness, I noticed a goat hanging around my place. I was so lonely I decided to keep the goat as a pet. Oh, cool, I can't go down here. Okay. Oh, you scared me. This is our secret hut. We have hidden treasure near here. Oh, 
There's a pass. Oh, yeah. Dream route's so awesome, man. I wish I had a dream route in real life. Place a dream route on two of metal. Or I wish I could give the dream route to people to enter my crazy dreams to see how crazy things are. In my dreams, I can do anything. I like, for example, huh. Why don't you try and talk to the jewelry? The monsters running all over in Dr. L's in Dr. Leo's paintings cannot be defeated unless you have a special sword. You must find the special sword that can destroy metal. Return here once you have found the sword. Would you like to return to Grass Valley? Damn it, it put me on the other side. But that's okay, because... the uh, Okay. Still unlocking everything. Just be sad. I guess being dragged into a painting would be pretty unjarring, too. Background's going so fast. I don't remember it going that fast. But it's it's got to have uh it's gotta go that fast, because it's this is the actual cartridge. Oh my god, I was that close to the heal healing portal. Ashamed. Ashamed of myself. That I don't have enough gems. Because I died. I played this game a lot. No, I just love these games. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm so stupid. I didn't need to need to heal. The village chief. Welcome to my room. I finally feel like myself again. I have something to tell you. Please come back to my house.
Oh man, grape. White grape tea. White grape tea is a good tea. It's but be it's best with green tea though. I used a uh, normal tea this time because I ran out of green tea. Love the village music. I know, me too. I could literally just sit here with this music. This is some of the this music and the town music in Illusion of Gaia, I could just lay my head on the desk and just go to sleep just listening to this. Did you say white grape tea? Yeah, so basically I've been brewing tea. I get like white grape juice and I make the tea normally and then I've been tossing in some, some juice afterwards. It's, it's pretty pretty damn tasty. So secret passage, I cannot let you through the pass. Oh, the pass. Where'd you find it? Go inside now. Hey, what's up, eh? Yeah, it's pretty tasty. It's it's best with green tea, though. Strange bottle. Nice. Oh, shit. Where's the emblem, though? Fuck. Now I'm trying to remember where the damn emblem is, though. Prizal version is so nice. Yeah, it is. Dun, dun, dun. Do you guys remember where the emblem is? It's got... Or is it not until he builds the wall? Shit. Yeah, the song from Gaia from the Earth and Womb that used... It's used the ending in emotional scenes. So good. Yeah, that one I've also paused, like, just left the game on and, like, uh, fallen asleep or, like, meditated to before. Oh, I already, I already got that one. 50 gems. Oh, Iron Armor. I should have got that, like, way before. It's funny. Please take this. Some experience. Shit. I don't remember where the emblem is. I don't need it right away, so... I think it plays after you save and quit, too. Yeah, it does. So I used to, I used to just leave it on there. I feel as though I've been surrounded by darkness. In that darkness, I heard my best friend Leo. He told me to give this brown stone to a person named Frank. I don't know what the brown stone looks like, but this is a stone that I recently received from him the day before he disappeared. Suddenly, the master's voice came thundering down from the heavens. The brown stone you have is a key to open the world of evil. This is where death toll lives. Come back to me with the stone. So the emblems... Okay, I remember what the emblems do. If you get all the emblems, then when you use magic, it's just infinite. It doesn't cost gems. So you could just, like, infinitely spam magic, which is cheap as shit, but also awesome. I feel bad for Lisa having been separated from her parents. Oh, get out of the way. Some believe after a person dies, they will return in the form of a different creature. If this is true, I wonder what my mother is doing now.
voice came from above. The brown stone you receive is one of six stones in this world. When all six of these stones are gathered, the gate leading to the world of evil shall be opened. Now you must go to Greenwood, where the next stone awaits you. I think I hit my eye on something. It sounds weird. It's like bruised. But I think, okay, I was carrying something at work and I like hit myself in the eye with it. But that was like a week ago. So I wonder why it's just now that I'm noticing that. Well, it was like this the last couple days, so like three days ago, I noticed it. And I, then I had to think about, like, why would my eye hurt? Even this map music is great. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sorry, that's one of my favorite things to do. I just, I will listen to the song and then I'll just dance around with the D-pad. It's so silly. So silly. Actually, last time I didn't have these headphones, I think, when I listened to this music, so. It sounds pretty damn good on headphones, I gotta see. guys used to whoop my ass. First time I played this game I was like, no. So silly.
guess I'll kill the monsters on this floor first. Motherfuckers. These stone pillars look a lot like... They're way smaller. They look a lot like uh, the pillars that pop out of the floor in um, Sky Garden. And then the ghosts... The ghosts... Uh, the Ekin ghosts are enemies in this in this uh, temple too. Or the Moon Tribe. That's what it is. It's the Moon Tribe. So good, damn it. Yay, squirrel. A small voice is coming from a hole. Oh, I'm starving. If someone can bring me something to eat, I will exchange this powerful sword with them. I should have grabbed another medical herb before I left the before I left the village. There's bush monsters in Encore World too. Oh, there is! There totally is! Why did I not think of that? It's funny, this is more of an Aztec temple too, and then an Illusion of Gaia, you visit the, the Mayan temples. Wow, uh, they're fucking bushes. These guys. I guess I'll. Uh. I'm definitely not a speedrunner. I ain't no speedrunner. Talk about the stump. Please listen carefully. This is Greenwood. This land was developed by a dog named Turbo. I created this town so animals could come here and feel safe. If you find a particular mole, you'll be able to see in the dark. Make sure you talk to all the moles. Please come take a walk with me. Alright, let's go. The island over there is a graveyard. My twin brother is the island guard. This place used to be the Green Theater. A group called the Woodston Trio used to be a very popular band. Thank you for walking with me. Oh, one more thing. We animals communicate not only with our voices, but also... If I step like this and wag my tail, it means thank you. Did you already know that? Oh. I have as much fun walking walking people as they do walking me. Fucking love this game. Thankfully, though, um, they make all the levels, like, pretty easily connected dungeon-wise, so you don't have to go back very far. Can I get up there? No, I can't get up there. Just making sure. <laughs> oh, I keep losing my gems, but... To be fair, I lost a good amount of those just wasting magic trying to kill those damn bush people anyways. Thank you. 
don't know what it is about that one little area with that one bush guy. Yeah, he released a bird. do that. Oh, and the gyms come toward you when you hear it. Hold L and R. That's just like Lucian and Gaia. Hundred and fifty gems. I'm gonna have to shut the fan off in a second, it's getting too cold. It goes to all. A voice is calling from the hole. I'm the creature who brings light to darkness. I will help you upon your return. I guess I need him right away. Hold on, guys. I just gotta shut the fan off real quick. When I get too chilly, I start getting all sleepy. It must be like a natural instinct for me. Just want to sleep when it gets cold. I always dreaded like if I was like stuck on Mount Everest and I was like freezing to death because I would probably just go to sleep. I'd probably die in my sleep. So I'd be like, oh, I'll just lay down and try to go to sleep. Birds tell me many stories. I'm thankful for them because I can't move from this spot. The birds tell me the Lost Side Marsh has three shrines. One is called Water. Another is Fire. The third is Light. Even though I don't look like it, I'm from the sky just like you. I light up the darkness. You cheer up everyone. Let's work together to revive the world. The creature who lights up darkness joined. By the way, why don't we go to the second basement of the water shrine? You'll now be able to see monsters which you could not see without me. Oh, you know what? I was trying to think if I can get an herb right now, but I don't think 
I don't... I remember how to get the medical herb in this town. And I don't have the nut yet. To give to the squirrel. No, I feel like it's it's pretty convenient um, to get back to areas previous previous areas you've been areas you've been to in this game. Like that trek, I feel like I just feel like that trek wasn't very long, which is good. There we go. Delicious seeds. I missed all those gems, but I survived fighting the crocodile. Good old crocodiles. I didn't think that guy was gonna show up. Yeah, see, my body's just like, what? It was cold and I was warming up. Let me stretch real quick. I guess the I guess the the moon tribe ghosts are in the fire temple, I guess. gems. Oh, um. Oh, 
Hold on, guys. I gotta. I got to sneeze. Sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. Give me a second. Ugh. Stupid sneezing. All right. Yeah, dear. I'll say, you know how when you're like driving at altitude and like your, uh, your ears pop? That happened while I was sneezing. But it's like super weird. Yeah, maybe my nose was just stuffed up. Trying to do Get that sword. My other ear just bonked. I will exchange a sword with you for the seeds. Psycho sword. go the long way. Sons of bitches. Alright. Oh yeah, shit, the lizard. These guys look just like the lizard from Spider-Man. <laughs> 
At least to me, they knew. I know he only has one arm in that. No, wait. Never mind, that's Doc Connors. I forgot, when he turns into the lizard, his arm does grow back. But he's just the lizard. There we go, there's a moon drum member. The Moon Tribe guys never scared me, but they do look like super creepy. <laughs> Almost time for your sleep. I know, I know. I don't want to though. I keep falling asleep early and it pisses me off. I want to stream. Inside. I want to keep going. How you doing, Lord Manny? Another squirrel. I'll play, it. I'll play this game blindfolded. I'm just joking. Strollers are just for the metal scorpions. Had a hard time yesterday. We did spring cleaning during summertime conditions. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Hopefully, you get to relax some. Yeah, I moved an awful lot of furniture today. It was pretty hot outside. Probably should have just, uh, probably should have just rested. The cool thing is, though, like, even if I go. My body's like super, um, super, t we like timed weirdly now. So like, if I sleep like five hours, I just naturally wake up, which is pretty sweet. There's like something on the chair that like hit my back.
Yeah, another squirrel. Almost got the band back together. So one for two. I hate to do this, but I'm like nodding off while playing the game. I'm literally like, Ooh. So I'm going to save it and go get some rest. I will see you guys later. And I will definitely continue the playthrough of Soul Blazer because I like Soul Blazer. I'll see what re which rest music plays. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Take it easy, Manny.